Welcome back to Chem with Chem. In this session, we look at reactions of alkenes, and at the end, we apply some of what we've learned to a partial pass paper question. If this is your first time, be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out each time new content is added. Um, so we have reactions of alkanes, reaction of alkenes. So let's just get right into it. For alkenes, they undergo two types of reactions. By the way, all the um all of these except for the esters, we don't look at um combustion reactions of esters. Ester esters don't burn. But for all these um other um organic compounds or the families or homologous series, they undergo combustion. So let's look at the first one. And combustion, all combustion means is that we're burning something in air and that will produce CO2, water vapor, and lots, lots, lots of heat. Um, we talk about this and we say that this happens in the car engine, but that is so far removed from us. Uh, I was bored a week, a week or so ago and I did a, a gummy beer video where actually, where actually um, Allow the gummy bear, the sugar in the gummy bear to be um to undergo combustion. It was um it was much fun. I posted it on the channel. You can check it out. That's what we mean by combustion. Combustion just means that we have organic substances that are actually burning, burning in air. And the example here is methane, CH4 plus O2. And when you're going to balance. Just write what you get first. Write that you're going to get CO2 plus water. Then you balance in the order. In the order C, H, O. You're not singing chorus or saying cho, but that's how you balance. So you always check to ensure that the number of carbons is the same on either side. C, H, O, C, H, O, and you balance. One on the left, one on the right. You're going in terms of H. This is not um, a balance equation. This should be two. Hydrogen on the, on the um, left was four is four. On the right, it's two. We we'll put a two times that. That now changes our oxygen. We had two oxygen on the left. On the right, we had before um, three. But then we we'll put on two in front of the water. So that means we now have four. Um, is this balance now? We have two twos. Two ones, two, plus we have two right there. We have four on the right and we have two on the left. So we need that two in front of the oxygen right here to actually make that a balanced um, equation. So that's um combustion. It's it's good, it's it it's good practice to um balance um one of them that's odd number. Sorry, one of them that's even number. This one is odd number of carbon atoms. All right, so they're asking you here to write the balance equation for butane burning completely in air. That happens in your gas pan. Propane is in there. A mixture of butane is also in there. So butane, what's the, what's the molecular formula for butane? Maybe I should ask, which, which, which family is it from? Which homologous series is it, is it from? Butane. Uh Alkane, very good. How many carbon atoms will be present? Four. Four because they say but. So the general formula, what's the general formula for alkanes? The general formula for alkanes is CNH2N plus two. So if oh. but means four, if but means four, when you put four in this formula, what are you going to get? So put, put four where N is. That's CNH2N plus two. That would give you C4H what? C4H plus four. Yeah, so you put in wherever you see N, you're substituting four. So that's C4H10. Uh, uh, and that would be in a gas pan that's in the form of a gas. This is going to burn in air, oxygen, to give us, let's write it first, CO2 gas plus water vapor, H2O gas. Um, don't have the space for us to actually count 
But we, we start by putting a 4 in front of the CO2. And then when we do that, we find that we need to work with the hydrogen. The hydrogen, we need to put, need to put a 5 right here because we need the hydrogens to be 10. But when we do that now, we have 4, 2 is 8 plus 5. We have all of 13 oxygen on the right-hand side. And we can't really have... We can't do anything. We can't really have, in order for us to have 13 oxygen on the left hand side, we need to say six and a half. But you can't have half of, a ox of an oxygen molecule. So we'd have to take that six and a half and multiply it by two. The oxygen is joined to the butane. So if you multiply the six and a half by two to get 13 oxygen, you'll need to multiply the butane by two as well. If you're multiplying the things on the left-hand side by 2, you'd have to multiply the things on the right-hand side by 2 as well. So that would be 4 times 2, 8. Carbon dioxide, 5 times 2, 10. Sorry, 5 times 2. For the water. So the final thing would be, let's cross them out. The final thing would be 2. And this would now be 13O2 gas, 8 carbon dioxide, and that's 10 water. This is what happens when we're, this is what happens when you end up with a mixed number for the number of oxygen on the left hand side. You would have to say something and a half, but you can't have half of an oxygen molecule because half of it would just be saying O and O is diatomic. It has to be bonded to um, another oxygen atom to give it a molecule. So to fix that, we multiply the six and a half in this case by two to get 13. But if we multiply the six and a half by two, it's the oxygen is joined to the butane based on the equation. It's butane and oxygen reacting to give carbon dioxide and water. So we'd have to multiply the butane by two. We'd have to double everybody, double the, the six and a half, double the, um, the one that in, that's in front of the butane, double the four that's in front of the CO2, double the five that's in front of the water. And that's how we'd come out um, with that. All right? Any questions? All right. And then the other um, reaction that alkanes undergo, we call it substitution reaction. And it's just as the name suggests. We use halogen atoms to replace the hydrogen atoms of an alkane. This must happen in the presence of sunlight or in what we, in what we call UV light. And it takes place in stages one hydrogen atom at a time. All right. So let us look at how it happens first. So we, we could start with methane. It's As we said, it's a continuous reaction. If more chlorine is available, the process continues until all the hydrogen atoms are completely replaced. So look at one equation at a time. Let's look at number one, equation one. CH4, that's methane with four, with four hydrogen, carbon with four hydrogen, which is why we call it methane. Meth, then ane. We're gonna, in the presence of UV, add on a chlorine. So you're splitting the chlorine in two. I don't want to get into the mechan mechanism, but the chlorine really looks like this. When the UV comes in, UV light splits it into, UV light splits it into two, and you get two chlorine radicals. You could call them hotted, Cl with a dot, and unpaired electron. So the unpaired electron needs to actually um, settle down. So it will go and it will it will go and pair up with one of the hydrogens from the methane. So notice it does that. It takes the place of one of them and then the other one marries or goes with the hydrogen that comes up. So you end up with hydrogen chloride gas at the end. The product here, chloromethane from reaction one, it becomes a starting material in reaction two. Notice CH3. And then the same thing happens. You put on a chlorine 
and the hydrogen that comes off goes with the other chlorine to form hydrogen chloride. You now have two chlorines and two hydrogens. Follow the hydrogens, follow the chlorine. The product from that reaction in two becomes a starting material in reaction three. Follow CH2, Cl2. Same thing happening with chlorine again. We're going to take off one hydrogen or we're going to substitute a hydrogen with a chlorine. Now we have all of three chlorines. So this is trichloro. Tri means three. The one before was dichloro. And the one before was just chloro. So now we're at trichloromethane. All of three hydrogens were substituted. All of three. Just one hydrogen is left. One hydrogen is left. Now we have all of three chlorines on it. And then again we have hydrogen chloride. Then in the final stage now when all the hydrogen are going to be substituted. We have the last one left in trichloromethane. And we just take it off and replace it with a chlorine. And we still end up back, back with our hydrogen chloride. But this time we have what we call tetrachloromethane. Tetra means four. Tetra means four. If we're continuing, we know this right here is tri, the one, trichloromethane. This one is Di chloromethane, and this one is chloromethane. So we substitute each time, we substitute a, hy a hydrogen with a chlorine until there are no hydrogens left. And as we said, the, the, the product from reaction one becomes the starting material in reaction two. And then the, the product in reaction two becomes the starting material in reaction three. The product from reaction, reaction three becomes the starting material in reaction four. Until all our hydrogens have been replaced by our chlorine. So that is it. Substitution and combustion reaction those are the um the um the actual reactions that our al alkanes undergo now having gone through reactions of alkanes let us see if we can apply what we've learned to a partial pass paper question let's put it all together remember if you find value be sure to like share with a friend or a few friends and be sure to subscribe or consider subscribing if you haven't done so, so you do not miss any time new content is posted. Here now, they are giving us the structural formula and they're asking for the homologous series. So go ahead, write it in the um, comment, what the homologous series is for A. It's a little switched up this time, but it doesn't matter how they put it, they can't get you if you read. If you really understand your content. What homologous series is A from? Look at it carefully. Look at the functional group. Look for the functional group. Look at how many carbon atoms are present. Look at the ratio of carbon atoms to um, hydrogen. All right. Let's see. Alkene. All right. So compound A belongs to the alkene series. The alkenes. And compound B. Compound B. Very good. Compound B belongs to the alkanes. Now they're asking for the general formula. We're going to use the N to represent um, the number of carbon atoms. For um, A, what would be the homologous series? Start. It starts out by, you'd have to start out with C. Look at it carefully. How many carbon atoms are we seeing? We're seeing three. And then we're seeing six hydrogen. So we could say then, Cn, whatever the number of carbon atoms is, the number of hydrogen atoms is twice that. So it's a CnH2n. For the B, we have four. One, two, three, four. Number of carbon atoms is four. And the number of hydrogen is eight. So we could say Cn, whatever n is, it's twice that. 
plus two. All right, let's get that um, in the line. So it's CNH2N plus two. Clear? Let me know. So the next part, both A and B react with chlorine, but under different conditions. State one necessary condition for B to react with chlorine. So B is butane, it's an alkane. So whereas for A, A can react with chlorine in the dark, what do we need for alkanes to react with chlorine? The condition is not butane, just putting that there. Depending on where you start watching, you might think that the con we're saying the condition is butane. We're not saying the condition is butane. We're saying butane will react with chlorine, but they're asking for an us for under what conditions. What's the condition necessary for an alkane? It could have been methane, it never had to be butane. But re reactions of alkanes, it's a general thing. They undergo combustion reaction and then they undergo substitution reactions. So you can use halogens to substitute. What is it that we're going to need? What conditions will we need? For this to take place. Well, we will need UV light. We would need UV light. Now they're asking for the fully displayed structures of the organic products for the reactions of A and B with chlorine. So um, A, we said that A, let's look back at what A is. This is A. We said A is propene. So this is A. And this at the top right hand corner is B. So when A goes with chlorine, we'll have an addition reaction. So we'll break the, break the double bond and we'll add across the double bond. Break the carbon, carbon double bond. And we'll now add on chlorine. For the other product, in the case of in the case of butane, if we use one mole of chlorine with a mole of butane, then we're going to end up. We'll just have to take off one chlorine at a time. It's a substitution reaction, and one of them is substituted at a time. They did not say all the way. They did not say entirely in the presence of um, an unlimited supply of, of chlorine. They did not say that. So we just have to substitute. It's a substitution reaction. So we would take off one hydrogen and put on a chlorine. So that would be the product. That chlorine could have been on any of the carbon atoms. I just chose that one. It could have been on the second one. All right? It could have been on the second one or the, the first one because... Whichever side you count, if you count from this side, it's one. You could have counted from the other end and gotten it on the first carbon on the right side, and that would have been one. So it could have been on carbon one or carbon two at the top or at the bottom or at the side. It doesn't matter. So that's what the product would be. And they would give you your, your full marks for, for this. Organic products, we're not finished. This, we would also need HCl. Hydrogen chloride would be formed. So the chlorine, the UV light is used to split the chlorine in two, which then attacks the, the alkane. And we've looked at this already, reactions of alkenes. So it's taking off, it's taking off one of them at a time. It would take off one of them at a time. So we're not going to uh, answer anything that the question is not asking us. And just like that, we've come to the end of this lesson, the end of this session. But it does not mean it's the end of chemistry for you. Tell us what you liked most about this video. Be sure to leave your comments under it. And be sure to check out all the other materials that are here on the channel. Couple later.